In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear Jesus going back to his hometown, preaching in the synagogue, and first the people were astonished at his words, his wisdom, and they've, they've heard about all his healings and miracles and all, everything. And then, and then they started to doubt. They're saying, well, isn't he, isn't he Jesus, the carpenter, the son of Mary? Don't we know him? Who does he think he is? Kind of thing. And so they started to, to they took offense at him. And so their, their heart became, began to be hardened. And, uh, but we see this starts with uh, this lack of openness, right? To, to really, they, uh, really to ask the question and to be open and to see who is Jesus? Where did he get this power? Is he really the Messiah? No, they, 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 they switched over to this doubt and pride, right? They think they know who he is, and they really closed their heart to anything. And so, and so uh, Jesus was not able to perform any miracles there because of their lack of faith. He was amazed at their lack of faith. So we see that the lack of faith here really prevents Jesus from doing what he wants to do, from from him doing all these miracles and, 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 and so on, right? And so likewise in our lives too. Maybe sometimes we think we have it figured out. Maybe we let pride uh, get to our head um, and, and we, we have, we, we've closed our heart to God's grace, to his miracles in our lives. So let us be not like the people in Jesus' hometown, but let us be open, receptive, and let us have faith that whatever we ask, that God will give us or something better, that he does want the best for us, that he has the power to do anything. So with God, anything is possible. So let us be humble and let us have faith in the Lord. We give you thanks, loving God, for all your goodness and for reminding us of our disposition, how important it is not to be prideful, not to harden our hearts, but to be open and to have faith in you. And when we do have faith in you, you will do incredible things in us and through us. We ask you to bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.